For the past week, I haven't been able to stop talking about how bad I wanted to play Animal Crossing and I don't think I've ever wanted something so bad in my life. So after a literal week of me not being able to stop talking about how badly I wanted to play this game, it is here. So since I did get a Switch just to play this game, here's a quick little unboxing. And I don't even know how to tell you guys how excited I was about the fact that I even found a Switch because they're literally sold out everywhere and then the fact that they had the color I wanted, Mm. Anyways, just to let you guys know, I've been playing this game for like around two weeks now before actually uploading this video So I have developed a lot of thoughts, tips, and honestly, I feel pretty knowledge on the games So when you start off the game, you pretty much start off with all like the introductory stuff And you're introduced to like the first two characters, Timmy and Tommy They pretty much just start off with asking you for the basic stuff like your name, your age, the name of your island and all that And so for my name, I put my real name I know a lot of people like to use like fake I'm names I'm just gonna go with mine You eventually also get to customize your character which is probably the most exciting part of this and sadly i noticed that they didn't have many options for like hairstyles and all that but i learned later in the game that you actually get to buy those things so that's cool but like okay why is this shade range so small anyways here's my attempt to try to get my character to look as much as like me as possible and i think i did a pretty good job not gonna lie Anyways, to start off with the actual game and just skip over all the introductory stuff, they eventually send you off to your little island and you get to watch the super cute commercial animation thing they made before the game actually starts and I actually forgot to mention I named my island Joe Mamas. If you know, you know. Okay, before I start playing, I just want to say that I watched way too many TikToks before actually getting this game about the game and I saw so many people like complaining about ugly villagers and... <sighs> I'm gonna speak into existence that I'm gonna get cute villagers and a cute native fruit. If I get any ugly villagers and they're mean, I'm gonna be mad. So when I first landed on my island, the first couple of things they had me do was listen to Tom Nook's speech about how I'm gonna be indebted to him for the rest of my career. And they also gave me a tent that I could set up anywhere around my island, which I was really excited about until I realized how small the space was inside. Super disappointing considering that I have to pay for this. Besides the task that they gave me, I decided to wander around and kind of explore my island on my own because I was literally so overwhelmed at how cute and aesthetically pleasing the whole game is. I took a little look around. I met my new neighbors, which turned out to be Biff and Flo. So before I even tried to get mad at the fact that I got Biff, I decided to give them a chance and actually get to know them until Biff decided to call me ew. And so it just all went downhill from there. And he also wouldn't stop getting in my flowers, so I'm just saying, I'm gonna get him out of here. And I'm not even kidding when I say that I played over 5 hours of the first day that I got this game because that's just how bored I was. And so I got to progress in this game pretty fast. Literally in just the first week, I was grinding so hard, I was catching all kinds of new fish, insects, bugs, butterflies, and eventually I either donated them to the museum or sold them for bells, which I used to pay off my first two loans. So yes, I did get to upgrade from a tent to my first little home. Okay, but let's take a moment to appreciate the visuals in this game, like how detailed and just pretty everything is. Like, there's literally sunsets in this game, and they're so pretty, they're probably prettier than the ones in real life. There's even rain. Rain in Animal Crossing, and you get to hold these super cute little umbrellas to cover you and protect you from the rain. Like, what? And don't even get me started with the museum. Like, look at this! What? This is Animal Crossing. Why is this so good? And if I'm being honest, there's probably only one thing in this game that actually bothers me, and that is the fact that I constantly have to be recrafting my tools like every five seconds because they're always breaking. Like, can you stop? I'm trying to catch my fish in peace. Also, the amount of times that I got chased by tarantulas, wasps, and even got stung by bees is not funny. I don't think I even know how many times I died in this game at this point. 
When I first got the game, I honestly thought that there wasn't many things to do in this game, but as you progress, you realize that there actually is so much to do. Like, if you ever get bored, you can have multiple friends over and just bond with them, and it's just super fun. You can send them gifts, write them letters, and speaking about friends, you'll also eventually get to have more villagers on your island. You start off with two, but then at some point, Tom Nook will give you three tents to set up around your island, and these will be the new houses for your new three villagers, which you will eventually meet. I would like to take a moment to thank the Animal Crossing Lords for giving me the cutest villagers ever. I literally almost cried when I walked into one of their houses and I saw that Flurry had moved in my actual dream villager. I almost cried. I'm not even kidding. Like, she literally calls me Powderpuff. My heart melts every time. And then for my second villager, I got Bianca, which I was super excited about because she's so cute and then her personality makes her even cuter. Like, yes. And then my third new villager, Elmer. I learned that he's on actual crack, like the things he does are super questionable, including his bangs, but he's still cute though, so that's all I gotta say. Okay, so now for some tips. I either discovered these on my own or on TikTok. So my first tip is how to grow money trees. Pretty frequently in the game, you'll come across these shining little thingies on the ground. And when you dig them up, you get like a thousand bells. What you guys need to do is dig the money back in the hole and it will become... A small tree that eventually grows into a bigger tree that gives you triple the amount of bells that you had originally dug into the hole. So, yeah. Okay, tip number two is probably one of the best ways to make money on Animal Crossing, which I recently learned. So, every Sunday from 7am to 12pm, Daisy May will come to your island and she will be selling turnips. So, she's selling them at a low price. What you want to do is get as many turnips from her as possible. I literally buy all the turnips I can with all of my money and then later sell them at a higher price. And if your island isn't buying them for a high enough price, you can also go to your friend's islands and sell them there. Pretty much much, if you sell your turnips for anything higher than what you bought them for, you'll make a lot of profit from this and honestly, this is the best way to make large amounts of money in this game. So for tip number three, this is how to maximize the amount of minerals you get when you're hitting a rock. Pretty much you want to get your shovel and dig three holes behind you so that when you're hitting the rock, you're not bouncing back and you can just get as many rocks as you can from it. Pretty much the point is to be able to get as many resources as you can as possible. Also, I don't know if this is a tip, but it's something that's definitely useful to know. So if you're ever out fishing and you catch a new fish, if your character says yes, that means that that fish is a new fish that you haven't caught yet. And I personally find this useful because it lets me know that I have a new fish to donate to the museum. Okay, let's talk a little bit about customization. So I was super happy when I discovered custom design because I realized that it's actually super useful when it comes to expressing yourself. You can use this tool to be able to decorate your home, make clothes for yourself, and even design a cute face paint for yourself. So I took as much advantage of this option as possible and I literally got addicted and made so much clothes. I'm not even gonna lie though, I was so bad when I first started because I didn't really know what I was doing. This was actually one of my first designs. I attempted to make a real Akuma dress. I eventually kept practicing and I got slightly better. One of my favorite designs that I made was this golf sweater that I couldn't stop wearing. And also, as I mentioned earlier, later in the game, you'll have the option to be able to buy more hair colors and hairstyles, which is super exciting because it gives you more options when it comes to like changing up your character. Okay, so one last thing about customization. So if you guys start to get too lazy to be making your own custom designs, I learned that you can actually go online and download other people's custom design QR codes and download them onto your Switch so that you're pretty much downloading other people's designs and you don't have to make your own. And last but not least, my island tour. So I didn't want to include this because my island is nowhere near finished, but I decided to include it anyway so that later I can look back at it and kind of see where I was at one point because I know for a fact that I'm going to be making a lot of progress in the next few weeks. So pretty much when you first land on my island, the first things you will see is this pathway that I created with QR codes and my sign. So when you walk to the left, you're going to notice that I still haven't finished my pathway, but I'm in the process of that. I decided to place two of my shops here. I have the Able Sister shop and I still haven't upgraded either of them. They're actually both just the original versions. So if you walk behind that, you'll notice that my house is at the far edge of the island. I decided to isolate my home because I didn't want it to be near anyone else's. So yeah, my house is just this little shack thingy that also has not been upgraded. I've only upgraded it twice. I'm still working on my garden. Honestly, the whole thing is a mess. 
and in like the main area of my island you'll see the shop which i also got to upgrade luckily and to the right side of my island i have the campsite here and i haven't talked to the villager inside because he's ugly and i think that they want him to move in so i'm just gonna ignore him and to the right of the campsite i have flo's house which is the first villager house that you'll come across then the rest of my villagers houses are on the right side of my island and so this is flurry's house i've started decorating her house first because i love her so much and i want her to have like the best treatment then we have elmer's house and as you can see literally elmer is always on crack like i don't know what he's doing I haven't really done much decorating for him, I only put some flowers out for him. And then lastly, I just have Biff and Bianca's house like right next to each other. I don't know why I did that, but I think it looks cute. So yeah, there's not much to my island right now, I'm really only at the beginning of designing it. For example, this bridge that is literally under construction and I'm probably gonna take forever to pay off because bridges are so expensive. Okay, so I'm currently editing my video and I noticed that, like usual, I forgot to film my outro, so here I am. So pretty much this is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I put a lot of effort into this, like way too much effort. I was really excited about making this video though because Animal Crossing has taken over my life. It has consumed me and it's not even funny. I have never made a gaming video on my channel, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will probably never make a gaming video again, so but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to follow me on social media... follow me also subscribe to my channel i am posting a lot of content right now and yeah that's pretty much it bye